Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the spellbook system which I just added to RPG Builder version 1.0.3. It was kind of a last minute feature but I wanted to get this in for a while now and the reason for that is because up to now in RPG Builder we had a, uh, well we still have right, but a very advanced uh, talent tree system which lets you have all kind of things in it, you can have abilities bonuses which are some kind of passive you can have uh, crafting recipes resource nodes and all those nodes can have their own uh, requirement like a lot of different requirements so you can build some very complex and in-depth talent trees right but a lot of developers um we, we are going to use rpg builder um don't really i mean some of them don't really want this kind of complex talent tree system right a lot of them would rather use a, a more traditional spell book system which is what i just added and that i'm going to show you in this video so as you can see here if you click on the spell book um icon here in the toolbar you can see that it's it is now opening you know this new uh, game ui panel and in this case you see that we can have of course multiple spell books per classes so in this case we have some kind of fire one and a more curse one which are just you know the demo abilities um uh from the demo number one and uh here very quickly you see that it is of course a list of ability and we have levels here presented for each of them so this represents what level is required so you know like the character level required to unlock this ability so here also you can see that after creating our character we already have a few abilities on our bar and this is because um any ability that un that is unlocked level one is going to be added to your bar automatically so your player is not like completely confused extra he, he knows that he can already fight and he's going to look um a bit further on how to get more abilities right um now obviously um if we add ourselves some experience so let's go from level one to level three here as you can see i did myself 25 class experience you see that the uh, abilities are automatically learned and we can now slot them which we can't do of course for the uh, non-unlocked abilities and this applies to um any um uh, spell book right so we could now slot this one also so that's pretty cool it's a very straightforward system uh, spell books are created under combat spell books in the editor and as you can see here it's very straightforward very easy um, each uh, spell book can have either ability or bonuses so for example here we have a bunch of abilities and the last one as you can see is a bonus which is a um passive you know passive ability and in this case it's giving us mana and here of course you can decide per ability or rather per node what the level required should be so something i wanted to say is that this system is very very flexible um in the way that now you can decide to for example only use spellbook system and you never have to uh, use the talent tree system if you don't want to or you could only use the talent tree system the spellbook system is not required of course and obviously you can use both together and that's what i'm going to show to you now so um here we have the fireball ability right and if i open um my talent tree list we we now have the sorcerer talent tree here of course it's very empty it's just something i made very quickly for this video to show you but uh here we can find our fireball again this fireball ability from the talent tree is the exact same as from the spell book but of course now it's rank one because you know we started level one here you can't upgrade the rank right it's just going to uh, learn this ability but now if we wanted to i could learn uh, the fireball ability and update it to rank three now we, i could also done rank it but you see that now i can't take it back to rank zero because the rank minimum is one because we already know it from the spell book okay but we could level it up um in the talent tree and this is very useful because it means you can have you know the spell book teaching you the base abilities and then on top of that you could have very uh, in-depth talent trees uh, where you can have all kind of ranks ability modifications and things like that here you see that we have the spiritual bonus which is also in the spell book here and it's un not unlocked right now right so um if we give ourselves some experience let's say 25 and we try to reach level 11 which we just did you see that here already our mana went from 50 to 150 and now if we go to the um talent tree you see that this is now unlocked rank one i can't take it back to rank zero obviously 
uh, but I can take it to rank 2 and now the mana went from 150 max to 250 max. Also each rank in uh, bonuses so if you go to general bonuses and spiritual have their own requirements you see that the rank 1 does not require anything but rank 2 requires a staff to be equipped so in this case um, if I unequip my staff you see that the mana is going back to 50 so the bonus is now not active on your character anymore as soon as we equip the staff again it is active now if i remove the staff and i don't rank my uh spiritual you see that uh, it is now active because rank one does not require our staff anyway this was just a quick note um to show you how you know in depth and how much freedom you have for your game design so that's pretty much all i wanted to show for this system the spellbook system on its own is very straightforward nothing complicated it's um very much what you would expect from any you know uh, spellbook system in other rpgs you can have as many as you want on your character you just simply add them to um, your classes so here you see that we have the talent trees we have one sorcerer and here we have the spellbook section now which have those two spellbooks here so you can just add any spellbook you want here and when you want to create a new one or edit one you go to combat spellbooks and you can just um do just that so you can create new one add bonuses here you can pick your abilities and so on and if you want bonuses you can also do that so yeah that's pretty much it uh, for this video thank you for watching i hope you like it let me know in the comment and on discord and see you in the next one